Diamond in her back, sunroof top, digging the scene with a gangster lean. Woo woo. Yes, honey, I'm listening to 102.9 up here in Atlanta, Georgia tonight. And I want to say, hey, Sam, I'm back. I'm in full effect. I'm playing catch up. Want to talk to you. Missed you. But some things have been going on, and I've told you all about them. So y'all know about where I went MIA on y'all for a week or so, what I was going through, how I was going through it, and how it all resolved itself out. Yes, child. Now I got my own self back on my own schedule worrying about my own self okay not what other people want me to do want me to be a part of and all this other stuff all right i'm chilling like a villain so i'm coming to you all because hey i missed you i didn't let you totally go of course because i was reading the comments on some videos that i did put out and i was there which i just didn't take the time to respond back to you guys but I am now. Okay. I am coming back saying, hey, Sam. Thanks for coming over to the house. Thank you for holding it down and all of that. But we're going to say hello to Lakeisha Rogers. I don't remember seeing you in the chat before, but welcome, welcome, welcome. She responded, fam, to one of the videos, and we are calling her fam right now. We don't know if she's going to turn into a foe later on down the road because, you know, in the family, we got everybody. We got people don't like each other. People don't like me, but they still come over here and comment, still watching my videos. Don't know how bright that is, but hey. We got them all in our real family, right? Everybody ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. And I ain't saying I'm one of the sharpest, but I ain't one of the dumbest ones either. But it is what it is. Welcome, Lakeisha Rogers. She responded by saying, Cynthia talk her crap off the show. She sit there and act like she's innocent. But when she wants, but when she's off camera, she's on fire. I want her to bring some of that energy to the show. That's why she's been demoted. Now, we have heard that, yes, Cynthia Bailey is getting demoted. She's gonna, um, well, she's going to be becoming the friend of the show if she accepts the contract. Now, I heard that, and I had put my two cents on it, too, and the dollar what it was worth. All right. If she, I'm like, Cynthia, take that money, hon. Because <clears throat> you don't really do nothing really out of character but show your boobies here and there. And Lord knows you're too old to be showing your assets. Okay. So getting you off the show is going to straighten you up and make you fly back right like a conservative adult. I'm all here for it. Just keep them titties uh, enclosed, okay? Only for Mike Hill to see, okay? That's what we want from you. Well, hell, that's what Deb Snell wants from you, okay? So, yes, it was a rumor that she was going to become a friend of the show and if she accepted the friend contract of the show. Uh, she wanted to see what it was looking like. And I'm like, girl, take that money. Take that money or leave it alone. Be a part of show business or leave it alone. Okay, let's not go back and forth. Let's not straddle the fence. Let's not be undecisive when it comes to your money, Cynthia. Okay, that's all I'm saying. But um, I also heard that she had put her house up, late Bailey, up for sale. Uh, I don't know how true that is because, you know, some of these reality stars, they be out there flossing and glossing and, Ain't holding down nothing on paper. You know what I'm saying? Everything just leased here, leased there, and all this stuff. And then she's supposed to be spending a lot more time up there in um, California, I believe. It was in New York. I think it's California. But anyway, she's supposed to be up there with uh, her so-called fiancé and her daughter and her other two stepdaughters to be. Okay, so maybe there is some truth to her being demoted. But right now, there's just speculation in the windows. We don't know for a fact. But thank you for Lakeisha. I totally agree with you. You know, when you're behind the screens and you're not at the person's site where they can get their hands on you if they wanted to jump really, really froggy. Or you're sitting next to them or, you know, in the proximity of you can just take off your heels and run over there and pop, pop them in the head if you needed to. Of course, it's going to be something else happening after that. But, you know, keep your hands to yourself. We grown. We just ignore people, okay? Ignoring people and giving them silence beats all. Oh. When it comes to trying to get even with somebody. Especially if you're the one they checking for. Okay. But anyway. Uh, and you're the crowd pleaser. But yeah. Candy. Eva. Uh, even Kenya Moore. Uh, am I missing somebody? 
else. They all tried to jump froggy, you know, because Portia, like I said, she bought them hands every day, every night. Anytime you want to get a piece of her, she there for you, okay? And ain't scared. And hopefully she do it off camera, not on camera. You know, we know Nene, she, you know, she ain't. I mean, if you get up in her face, she'll probably get up in your face and y'all just be throwing spit. But with the coronavirus out there, we, we don't want y'all to be talking and spit flying out y'all mouth. You know what I'm saying? Um, But yeah, Candy, she always be like, she want to drag somebody. I ain't seen her drag nobody since she been on the show. Dra you know, her mouth, that's all. But putting hands on people, no. Nah, Candy ain't about that life. But thank you, Lakeisha. Um, I read your whole comment. You made a few more comments here and there. But lack of time, I have to move on to somebody else. Another family. Uh, of course, you know, I must give you love. Then I need to share it, the love somewhere else. Then we got Annie Garnot. That's my babe. Okay, my day one. She says, hey, Deb, happy to see you back. Keeping it 100. Girl, I'm glad to be back. I wasn't going nowhere too far. Oh, I would have told y'all I ain't coming back. <laughs> I would have told y'all I ain't coming back, honey. Lord have mercy, but you know, it just is what it is. But I'm back full of that, and um, just let's, uh, let us both cruise down Deb Chanel's 40th world with the family affair, and we just say hey to everybody, get love and hugs all the way around. Oh, then we got Marsha Ingram Rosser. She commented, she said, What about the news Candy has on Phaedra and on Apollo, knowing what Apollo has done? I don't know. I don't know. You tell me, Marsha. Get back down in the comments. Tell me what you tell my girl. Cause it's been a long time since Apollo hadn't been on the show. Or he been hadn't been really in social media. Uh, he's doing a lot over there with um, Michelle Brown, the ATL. And I told you I'd go check out her show. Uh, she gives her own perspectives, her spins on the show. And she has some insider news as well. So she's up there with the top dog. So cause she ain't nobody small running around here. So check her out. Tell her Deb Snails from the Family Affair. Deb Snails 40th World sent you all over there. Okay. Um, but I don't know what um, Candy has on Phaedra, girl. You need to enlighten us. She probably has some hot tea. But then again, you know, when you have something that's disclosed personal on personal, you ain't supposed to say nothing. Uh, if I got my legal hat on correctly. Uh, that's like you and somebody else talking personal you telling them and only them and you're sharing the news with them i'm supposed to go nowhere further now if somebody else uh heard something to the contrary uh do i got that wrong if there was an outsider listening in i guess they would be more so where they can get in trouble but if you exposed it to some hell i don't know you know what i'm saying any lawyers check it out for me you know sometimes I be thinking i'm on the street or saying something right and then that question my own damn self so <laughs> I don't know, baby. But if you want to tell us, tell us. Drop back in them comments and, and refresh my memory, okay? Because my mind here and there these days is here and there. Only certain things stick, okay? But thank you, Marsha Ingram Rosser, for coming by. Glad to have you. Then we got KC Sweet Girl. Hey, girl, what you doing, honey? What are you doing? Where you been? But anyway, you could say the same thing for me. Where the hell I been, okay? So, hey. Hey, love, kisses, and hugs all the way around on you, KC, sweet girl. But she said that dickhead Lucky Todd and Candy dealt with him considering his criminality. And I know that's right. I know that's right. Probably think somebody going to uh, lose their freedom and be away from their family to take up for him. <laughs> Hi. You know he must be an alien. Good looking alien. But no, nah, ain't nobody that stupid, Apollo. Ain't nobody going to hold you down like that. Now, if Todd and you were by here, I'll sell y'all hanging out. If Todd want to put his line, life on the line, his livelihood, let him go on. But, now nah, we didn't need nobody to be, you know, sitting up there doing what they did do. You know, hell, go put it in a, uh, your, what do you call it, your uh, memorabilia or your stuff that you think you wanted. Go on, put it in an assumed name somewhere, unknown name, fake name, whatever. Go pay on the storage, you know what I'm saying? Keep it in storage, you know. But it just is what it is. Paula was doing some crazy stuff. And he should have hooked up with some other criminals and uh, let them handle his personal business, okay? Then we got Jerry Hendrickson. Hey, girl. Nice to see you back in the chat room. She says, want Phaedra, but not Apollo and his side chick. <laughs> Nobody sold him out. He was the one that did the crime. No, Peter, either they need to leave well enough alone. It's going to cause a big problem for the show. Well, you know what, Jerry? You know, the show is really based on drama. And I'm pretty sure Bravo Entertainment, true, 
one entertainment. They had their lawyers on deck to be able to submit online for everybody to partake of and what they don't want to online. You know what I'm saying? What's going to cause them some infractions that leads to legality. So I, I would like to see Apollo come in, you know, as a guest, you know, picking up his chair and this, that, and third. And, you know, maybe the uh, fiance conquer. Hell, if they, he wanted to marry her. Shouldn't they be married by now? Should they not be married by now? So I'm thinking... No, she don't want to marry that man. She, she and maybe Apollo don't want to marry her. Okay, but uh, yeah, I would love to see uh Phaedra get um uh, Miss Lady in check if she had to. Of course, if she drunk sideways or talking out her her neck, yeah, you know our Southern Belle Phaedra had to get her together. But that would be, you know, that would be some true tea. Maybe someone slip up, you know what I'm saying, and give us more to divulge on as a storyline. Hey, you know, I'm just saying, I ain't saying it's right. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't saying it's wrong either to put them two together in that mix with Phaedra coming back. I'm just saying it's entertainment, entertainment, honey, because sometimes it be dry. So we need all the players who want to give us entertainment. We need them on deck. Okay, and then we got Jacqueline Austin. She wrote, and welcome Jacqueline to the family and coming in, sitting down, talking with us. Okay. She says her lying ass don't need to come back. <laughs> I wouldn't believe anything she say. Or I wouldn't believe anything she say out of her mouth. She betrayed Candy and that was unforgivable. Candy don't need that housewife money like the rest of the women. Now I beg to differ. Because if Candy didn't need that money, Candy has several opportunities to walk away, live her other life she wants to live uh, out the entertainment world where nobody's looking at her like she's in a fishbowl. She has that opportunity, but... Candy's not going to let that platform go until they throw her away or they make her a better offer than what she's uh, getting now. Only because it it helps her promote the businesses that she has able been able to acquire since she's been on this platform. So any money that she can get and get and get, Candy going to be there because Candy about that money. All right, and, and pretty much, and that's just my perspective, because you have your own, and I respect your opinions, too. I just say I had to slightly disagree, because none of these women, if they had some self-control, they didn't want to keep being displayed like uh, monkeys to a banana, or a puppet to a string, or anything cooning, as you would say, for television ratings and stuff like that. If they didn't want to be bought and paid for, they can definitely say, I'm not renewing my contract with you all. I've made enough money off you all and i'm just gonna just slide on out the situation okay they can easily say that but they don't they keep waiting for that contract to come in the mail or email from their computer or on their phone and they be really really ready to sign that joker okay but anyway um and you know then again who hadn't lied but the, i guess the lie is a lie and it's a lie you know what i'm saying but the one that phaedra put out on her because somebody else told her stuff you know it's a very sticky situation, and no Phaedra shouldn't have done it. If she wanted to put it out there, she should have put it out there a little bit better than trying to include other people and make them actually put it out when she was the one, one of the catalysts that uh, uh, set the fire and made this big-ass flame. But like I said, Candace, you know, she took something that was supposed to have been detrimental and harming to her career and made money off of it. So we got to side out both of them jokers, okay? But thank you for stopping by, Jacqueline. Come back as, as as often as you want to. Then we got one from, um, is it Thaya Waller? Okay, or Thaya uh, Waller. She says, you love to be messy to everybody. Who don't like Nene? <laughs> Woo! I'm just going to say, if you think I'm messy, baby, I'm messy, okay? But like I said, every last one of them jokers get it from me. It just depends on who's talking out the side of their neck and acting uh, not accordingly in my perspective, okay? But I haven't favored anyone, really, if you really have watched my videos. Uh, now, if they're shining that day, yes, I favor them. If they're not shining, like I said, everybody can get it. Uh, then we have Rita Hopkins. Hey, girl, how you doing? She wrote, hey, Austin, Dev, Chanel, congratulations to you and your daughter. I left a message on your homepage to see 
where you at i was knocking on the door but you didn't answer so welcome back i missed you saying the four f words oh my fake food refractory fraudulent city activity oh i can say the same for my daughter and my son-in-law when they was trying to hook me hook line and sink on putting their wedding together okay they were coming out the four 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 elfers and i was using it on them y'all just couldn't partake and hear it okay <laughs> but everything worked out and i, I didn't see any message on my home page so i gotta go back and check that out um reader but i really wasn't checking my messages so i'll go find it and i'll give you a little heart emoji or whatever they have on my uh, home page that we can give but you know i love you girl and you know i wasn't going too far when i leave these youtube streets trust and believe we're gonna have a big party i'm gonna be throwing all kinds of stuff on my channel and i'm gonna say let's rock it till the wheels fall off and i won't be back okay but we're nowhere near that situation at that time okay so thank you for missing me and i missed you too then we got um i don't know it says re re i'm just say mo morbid mobbit uh relithiable my bed i hope i'm not tearing up your name i'm sure i am but i apologize ahead of time baby but she wrote portia was loud and drunk nothing mvp about that now i had to disagree girl she might have been drunk but she was cutting up and i was loving every minute of it okay i love every minute of it see one thing you have to understand about reality tv if it was all roses and petals and harps playing and you know everybody getting along with each other wouldn't nobody watch it because i know i did some inspirational uh um uh, messages on my channel i did positive videos people just don't want to watch that okay i don't know why it mind boggles me too so you know people like ratchetness and that's what sells and that's where we are okay but i try to not make my channel too ratchet you know what i'm saying i try to leave give you something to think about if anything uh so it just is what it is but I feel she was the MVP. That's why I put it out on my staple. But you can disagree and say no, she wasn't. She was just loud and drunk. And usually, you don't have to be um loud. You don't have to be drunk to be loud. Cause I'm that every day, all day. <laughs> and you know, I don't drink. I'm not a big drinker. And the closest I get to a drink is either some Moscato and have to be a certain brand. And then um I drink uh those wine coolers from Seagram's, the Margarita Lime Classic. Ooh, child, get that cold, get it slush. It is so good and the strawberry decor of course the tried and true one but uh and that, that shit don't do them but make me go to sleep okay that's all it don't do nothing for me but anyway moving on we got pearlene watson hey baby she wrote portia was a loud mouth <laughs> poor bj with a mother like portia oh pearlene watson give her a break i give her all these housewives a break when they clowning up here you know what i'm saying they chose the career profession they wanted to do and because they you know definitely could have done something much better more professional more career choice wise uh but that that's not how this uh millennium or these young women and generations are getting down now it's all about entertainment it's all about the entertainment industry forget about being a doctor lawyer pastor whatever nah -uh. they ain't making no money for these young folks and they ain't trying to stay on no jobs no 10 and 12 40 60 years uh-uh if you ain't doing what they want you to do in two months six months uh, a year they gone to green pass just okay i don't know what kind of children we got living here okay because even my daughter talking about it and she just 29 years old like she all is dirt okay she's talking about these youngins running around here <laughs> but they don't think they don't not they don't care they if you can't get them what they want quick fast and hurry they moving on to another career or another place of employment or better yet they trying to get youtube sensations you know make that quick fast hurry money take for example cynthia bailey's daughter she gave up school she gave up acting or really just school and she went into the entertainment industry now you see what it tells you mm -mm. but it is what it is uh moving on but thank you for uh putting your comments down i'm glad to see you in the, in the house okay then we got keisha bell she wrote calling her ken is short for kenya not not put her down i dislike your channel and i'm like god do you have to if you dislike me and my channel for whatever reason do you have to leave a comment ah it's like you want to go tit for tat with me and i'm not in that i'm not in that uh state of mind right now okay but uh yes i do knew ken was short for kenya but i'm like there's other adoring adorning type words he could have used to express his love for kenya 
uh, by calling her Ken. It's not one of them. Ken, Kenya, no. She don't want to be called no Ken. She want to be called baby. She, she want to be called something loving. And she just tried to shadow it off or she tried to put, play it off or whatnot. And, and, and just think like she wasn't disturbed with him calling her Ken. She, yes, yes, yes. That's a, 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 a what do you call it? A sp- disparity and a demeaning uh, uh, um, usage of a word that he would call her okay so I, I, you you see it your way i see it my way baby but thank you for stopping by and don't come back okay you gotta leave another message for me to read and i used to delete stuff like that but i'm like mm, i'm gonna start letting these uh comments stay here because i ain't got time if you want to be you know salty and, and, and want to express your opinion and you know whatever it's just the mood I'm in right now, okay? Nothing really phases me. Nothing really upsets me because I'm like, I just don't have it. Coronas out there, tan up stuff, taking people's lives. And, I, you know, I just don't feel like getting in nobody's ass, really. I, I really don't. It's going to take a lot for me to delete your message or come online to express myself. But I don't want to do that. So, I'm let, I'm, how you say I'm going to let you live? <laughs> Which I don't have the power to destroy you or anything like that. But... I'm going to let your comment live, okay? And let it fester or, or whatever it may do, okay? Because you, you wrote it, okay? So I'm going to let it stay there. It may not be there depending on how I feel tomorrow or two weeks from now or a year from now. Who knows, okay? But where you have love, you're going to have hate. The two have to exist with each other. That's the balance of life. So, okay. Okay, girl, Keisha. But uh, let's see who else we got here. A uh, Carla Pelly. Hey, girl. She wrote, Nene reads are unforgettable. Nene used a machine gun on Eva's boring ass shots after shots after shots. And I have to agree. I don't know where Eva coming from saying she this, she that. Just live, Eva. Just live. You got a beautiful house. You got a beautiful family. Come with some mess, okay? Come with something else. Come with something. Don't be just talking all froggy behind your computer screen like I call them keyboard gangsters and want to say this, that, and third. Come with it. Because when you in the room with Nene, you don't say nothing. Nothing like you've been jumping off on this uh, behind the screens, behind the computer screens, girl. So get it together or leave it alone. I'm ready to, you know, say, uh-uh, don't take Cynthia. Take Eva. <laughs> take Eva off the show, okay? Go on let her play with Rick and Smiley and those folks over there, okay? Ooh, if we had a choice, if we had a poll, I definitely would be on there just polling, polling, polling. Like, let's say Cynthia, let's get rid of Eva, okay? Because she brings nothing and nothing. And I want to see her bring something. But for, for the last three seasons she's been on the show, and she ain't brought nothing. Nothing, okay? But anyway, thank you, Carla Pelly, for stopping by. We got Miss Educated Woman. She said, I don't think she would leave unless it's in the contract. There you go, baby. When uh, Bravo said they don't want you no more. And they want to demote you. Okay, that's just the end of the road. So, I agree with you. If it's in the contract, yeah, she's going to have to leave because it's in the contract. Uh, Ken is not going to leave on her own unless they're going to pay her lucrative somewhere else. And just to cut up on TV, act a fool. Don't need no college education. Don't need no common sense. Uh, and you get to make money on top of money. Yeah, that's an easy damn job. Okay. So I'm like, ooh, can it please? Okay. But anyway, leaving her. Uh, thank you for stopping by, Miss Educated Woman. Here we got Eugenia Washington. She, um, put down in the comments we are down with bringing on the stage back if candy wants to leave then see ya wouldn't wanna be ya that was my sidebar she just said see ya okay candy which we all knew she was just bluffing and lying she needs the money like all of these other ladies need it she's only fooling herself and no one else amen 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 thank you for stopping by and giving us that conscious dollar worth of expression okay that opinion you make because i totally agree eugenia i totally agree um then let's see who we got we got shirley james stop by she said yes yes and yes please bring phaedra back yes i agree with you shirley and thank you for coming by come back more often okay then we got lynette or you or yo hey girl she said, hey, they are pressed for your sick relative. I think Nene saying she went to change her tampons was meant for Eva for calling her old. Otherwise, Nene and Portia were just hilarious. My view. My viewpoint too, girl. <laughs> That's why I named that 
the MVP for Reunion Housewives Season 12. Okay, episode 1 and 1. Okay. Yes. Uh, Miss Portia held that gun down. She was just shooting everybody. Shoot, 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 shoot. Who like practice, target practice. Not with like drunk or not drunk. Portia killed it for me. I was laughing my butt off, especially when she got her whole face up in her camera. I was like, Portia, sit your ass down, girl. But give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. <laughs> okay. So, Lynette, thank you. Uh, and thank you for my prayers for my cousin. And really, thank you. And Please, please put other people in your prayers as well that are suffering from it that we don't have contact with that we don't know but we know they are out there suffering because the staggering numbers just continue to go up even though our beloved Trump says different okay but we, we ain't gonna go there with him we ain't gonna go there with him y'all um and I want to say um what I'm gonna say damn I lost my track train of thought anyway hey Marisol White Girl, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Oh, another one of my road dogs. She says Eva was so upset at Nene for calling her homosexual practices out. She said, I hate that old bitch. Portia told Eva that she was going to virtually fuck her up if she said. <laughs> one more word about her daughter. Eva got her real quiet. I bet she did. And she should have. Because, you know, anybody should know. Portia is about them hands, okay? <laughs> she'll get you in the dark. She'll get you in the light, just depending on how Portia feeling that day, okay? But one thing we as human beings got to say, it hurts when people say nasty things about us. But it really hurts when they say nasty things or insinuate nasty things for our children. But we have got to learn, hey, them are only words, you know what I'm saying? Just as long as you don't touch my child physically, okay? Because we can do the battle of the words all day long. But why bring the children in it? Because you ain't necessarily not liking my child. You're not liking me. So let's stay really on such a target or topic. Stay on me, baby. Let us drill each other. Let's not bring the kids in it at all, okay? Because then you're asking for the kids to get up there. And we last thing we need to see is baby Brooklyn, baby PJ going at it. Time to say, yeah, 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 yeah. You know how babies be talking. <laughs> We don't need to see that, okay? It'll be cute, but we don't need them to take up that. Because they may not even get into entertainment. Just seeing how their parents get down to entertainment. They may, like, turn a sour taste in their mouth and their stomach. And be like, "Uh uh-uh, I'm never going to be in entertainment. I'm like, ooh, job well done, parents. Job well done. You saved your children from the uh, drastic, evil, satanic ways of the industry of entertainment. Okay? But anyway... It just is what it is. Moving on to Z- Zanetta McLeod. Uh, she says, Eva should have done better when it came to Portia. Portia <coughs> pretty much stated this argument, started this argument with Eva, trying to be Kenya's, uh, tried to be Kenya's titty. We see how that went. Uh, Eva chose the wrong side to be on because King would turn on her in a minute and bite her like a snake. That was my pun intended. That bite her like a snake. And I, uh, totally agree with you, Zanetta. Eva just don't know which way to go. She likes Cynthia sitting there on the, on the, uh, defense, just watching who they need to jump to and on and support at the end of the journey okay that's what she uh gives me but cynthia wears it so well now and we that's her staple image in my mind i'm just gonna play it safe <laughs> you know what i'm saying we don't need two people to play it safe just like we don't need two people to be uh being a bone collector okay somebody gotta go and it looks like it should be either okay but moving on um let me see who else who else Lady Shay dropped by. She had um, commented on one of my Good Times reviews. She said, how do you review an old show? Most of us have seen thousands of times a piece we know what what's happening. I'll laugh out loud, but I guess you're doing something right. You got all them subscribers. Lady, I say, do you, girl? <laughs> i like, girl, at the family fair, we do any commentary on anything. We do it on a box. We do it on a shoe box if we want to, or television. If we get people to watch that and they can concur, she yeah, you got an audience, okay? That's just how we do things. That's just how it goes over here at Dev Chanel 48 World. But, yes, I used to do good times, um... You know, back in the project, Florida Evans, Jane Evans. Y'all know them, folks. Uh, I used to do reviews on them if you like uh, that show. 
go on over to the channel and get into the archive and you can see uh, a lot of my reviews I did. Okay? I uh, definitely did some on the Golden Girls as well. Huh, but anyway, moving on. Jocelyn Cola. She said, Candor Kenya is not Cynthia's friend and she will find out about those two no-gooders. Honey, when will it come, Jocelyn? When will it come? Because we done told them. And she still ain't here. She still ain't here. Okay. Just like Rita Hopkins said, she came to my door and I wouldn't let her in. <laughs> <laughs> but I forgot to send her a message and saying I was out for a week or so. Don't come by. <laughs> hey. But um that's just how it is. That's how it goes, okay? Uh then we have Margaret Carroll. She wrote, uh, no wonder you do not have a lot of views. You are biased. Okay, biased, unbiased. How have you see me, Margaret? It's your world. I'll let you live in it. Moving on, but thank you for stopping by, love. And then we have Zion Cade. He or she says Cynthia filmed the show and she go live with them. And Leon said it's okay. And that man had two other kids. And Cynthia said Noel pick because uh, Noel said she want to with them kids. That's that's might have like shut up y'all. Okay, so I guess Zion's trying to tell us to mind our own business. They all were in agreement with Noel living with Mike and there's nothing wrong with that. Well, Zion, just like everybody have a butthole and shit comes out. You know what I'm saying? Same thing like me and others. We have an opinion and our perspectives come out, you know? It, it's our truth. That's all that I can say. It may not be the truth, but it's just our truth, our perspectives. Just like you wrote your uh, perspective down in my comments, and I, you know, I'll let it stay. And you know, I'll let you have your say. You gotta let me have mine. This is the American way, right? Okay. Then we got Faye Thomas. She said the producer told that to Phaedra how she know what was a lie. I think Kana was part of that setup. The dungeon has come to light. <laughs> I'm like, Faye, bring it to light, girl. Bring it on more to light. We need Phaedra to come back and tell us a little more side story and a little more side piece about this situation. Because it's not adding up. So I would love to hear her perspective. Family, we want to hear the perspective, right? All right. It's like Kanye Way said, we want prenup. We want Phaedra back. We want Phaedra. Okay. Uh, then, let me see. She says, Faye Thomas said again, Kenya is a huge liar. I agree. She do anything to stay on the show and in the limelight. And that's her bread and butter. Her acting. Okay. And we know she's an F acting list. She was a D actor. Now she's totally F in my book. Because uh, Kenya like to F you up in your head. She likes to tell you all of these different things she like to continue doing her fake foolery fuckery fraudulent shitty activity and behavior where we just don't believe her did y'all not see that little marriage certificate she got now we're gonna always have people say that's true she showed it to you and you still don't believe a dumbass yeah i'm gonna be that dumbass because i still don't believe it okay i still don't believe it all right but anyway that's just my pun intended that's how i'm going with it okay don't come for me because it's gonna be the same result I don't believe it. <sighs> then we got Jacqueline Austin. She said that's what she's always does. Okay, don't really know where that come from, but it was on a video, uh, the trailer of the um when it was of the housewives. Okay, then we got Clarissa Gaffney. She says, Nene shut it down. I believe what she was saying, whatever you're talking about don't mean shit to me. So therefore I will shut you down and turn you off. <laughs> child all right now i don't know if she's talking to me or she talking about the actual episode where we saw uh nini close her computer down and said i am not talking to you candy no more you irrelevant girl you getting on my nerve let me just close you out for a minute because i need a break and i was there for that uh then we got marilyn smith she says deb is just real versus reality real is true to the fact 100 and reality is staged to be stopped and changed at will okay marilyn smith i agree with you and they're definitely being fake fraudulent, okay, foolery, and total fuckery when they do that shit. I mean, is reality is reality TV supposed to be true to form or how they're living their life with a little bit embellished uh, nonsense going on? Us, it's where these people really get down. You tell me, because I'm still trying to figure it out. And reality TV, we done been out for a long time now. But with Nene, how she act on TV, she act the same way out in them streets, okay? She don't give a shit. <laughs> If she like it, she like it. She fuck with you, she fuck with you. And we all know we don't see her out there in them airports. Okay, knocking down cameramen's cameras, cussing folks out that want to come up there and get an autograph or a selfie. And then she trying to shop in a, a, um, a hair 
beauty supply store and she's not even paying any attention to people that recognize her and want to say hey to her so i don't know is it true to form i don't know girl uh then we got keon washington um said yovana needs to start stand up for yourself from everybody else nini is so sad i love when she gets miss kenya together on this new season 12 never give nini gives me life Kenya to get your Marty's back. Uh, wait a minute. To get your Marty's back together. And and Nene don't have time for these ladies' emails. Miss Kenya and Eva need to stop um, messing with Miss Portia talking about her her brother. I don't know where that's coming from. But Keon, um, put it back in the comments, child. Okay? Put it back in the comments because you, you kind of lost me there. But I kind of think I know where you're going with it. But Kenya ain't going to stop. Nene ain't going to stop. That's the drama to the show. If they stop and, and start having a kumbaya moment. When nobody watch uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. To tell you the truth. Uh, then we got um, Beatrice Holland. Why did they all want drama with Nene? Who they claim was not in many episodes. There was so much more to talk about. All they want to talk about is that stupid tape. Or no tape. Yovana is a grown woman. She taped Cynthia trying to get on the show. Now she is backpedaling. Why didn't they discuss all of the other drama that happened? Kenya and Mark. Kenya trying to ruin someone else's relationship. The shooting at Candace restaurant. Portia and Dennis. What about Eve? What about calling uh Kenya calling Tanya a cunt? This show is so biased. They hate Nene and want her off the show, period. None of these 50-year-old women are perfect and are embarrassing themselves for a dollar. I like to know when Nene left or uh, what did they talk about. And I'm right with you, girl. Nene is the showstopper. Now, <coughs> could she share her throne a little bit? Yes. Will she? Hell no. <laughs> Nene ain't finna get nobody now. She like, how I made the platform. Well, I was one of the founding uh, ladies of the show. So pay homage. That's how she asking for people to do. And now, you know, Candy and Kenya uh, and Eve were trying to come up and think they're going to sew things up. But that's just how it goes. Okay, if you got rid of Nene or Nene saluted and said goodbye to it all, who you think going to be fighting for the spot? Kenya, Candy, Eva? Portia, who gonna be fighting again against each other because nini won't be there nini won't be the talk of the town nini won't be their arch nemesis so who is gonna turn on who who's gonna not be friends okay this can you gonna try to assume the throne and can gonna be up there trying to tear her down Portia gonna be up there trying to tear her down eva gonna be up there trying to tear her down so it's just that's how the cycle is everybody wants that first seat okay but thank you for stopping by. We got my PMP, my pimp, Kaysen. She said, thanks, Andy, for the care and for setting an example of safety. Yes, honey. Yes. Andy, like, I ain't being out there with that corona and where these women been. I don't know where they been. I know where me and Ben been, meaning his son. We've been holding up in a safe spot, breathing good air, okay? And safe distancing. But are these other women, I don't know where they been. Uh-uh, we ain't finna do it. Okay, but it was lovely. I love the setup, the format. We need to continue to do that on even the new episodes. Okay, that's what I'm just saying. But it is what it is. I don't know how they would virtually do it. But uh, maybe they wear masks so they can remember this was the coronavirus era. All right. And I am running out of time because I know y'all not going to watch this video and in its entirety. Y'all might have to break it up in small doses. But this was just one of my shout out videos. Uh, I, like I said, I wasn't really on the um, the tube enough uh, to, I guess, take it a whole hour where y'all would look and watch it. So I'll do another shout out video to capture some of the other ones that were new to the show uh, to give their, them their shine if you will and to just say thank you for stopping by because i'm always thankful for my new subscribers to the channel and um i try to make it enjoyable <laughs> okay whether y'all like what i say or you don't like what i say you know it just is what it is but we are family we all have the ones we like in our family and our real biological family and the ones we don't like but we gotta love them anyway we gotta love them from a distance however y'all are but that's how it is in my family over here um in the family affair we love we disagree and we make up and we move on and we come back for another video and do the same thing all over again <laughs> but y'all be blessed and i'll see y'all next video peace